Hello, Year 7. Um, how are you? I hope you're well. Um, I'm all right, and this is going to be a little bit weird for both of us, but this is how we're going to do some science over the next few weeks. So it's just to keep you on top of your work, make sure you're doing a little bit at home and actually doing some new stuff, which is obviously really interesting, really important. So um, the way it's going to work is um, we want to make sure you have a routine. If we can keep you in your routine, keep doing what you're doing, we're going to be loving life, and that's the key thing. So um, first thing to say is quite obvious, really. You know what I'm going to say is basically keep your phone away. Um, we don't want your phone out. You might need it actually if you're a cow crazy, you haven't got one at home, but otherwise your phone's not needed. Um, so our mission is to make sure we give you the best education while you're at home. Because if we can do that, you're going to get a lot out of this. And that is really important to us. We don't want you sitting at home just doing the same thing every time. We want to make sure you're doing new stuff and keeping you engaged with science. So that is our aim. Now, obviously, as you can see, this is a bit weird, a bit awkward, uh, maybe. But actually, we're trying our best to help you. And we are learning, as you are, with this new technology. And it's completely new to me. So if I do get a little bit rusty in places, just give them bear with me, okay? So like you've been doing in science we're going to split our lessons into key parts we're going to start with some cubal practice um we're then going to do some me teaching you which again will be new stuff you're then going to have time to embed it so make sure you learn it understand it and you're going to practice so you're going to walk away doing lots of questions making sure you're really good at this before you move on to something new and it's all in your own time so for today we're going to start on this topic, which is physics of speed. And we're going to look at what is speed and most importantly, the equation for speeds. So we're going to start in a minute with some retrieval practice. You could, if you've got a mini whiteboard and pen at home, that would be amazing. Otherwise, use a piece of paper, pen, the revision cards, you've got them. That would be amazing. Um, you should then have printed in front of you um, your new knowledge sheet um it's got all into these to know about i'm going to teach you that should be printed off or you can you can write on a piece of paper that's not a problem um if then we have taught that to you you'll need to embed it so you'll need your whiteboard again or a pen and paper and if you've got someone to quiz you for example your mom dad brother sister whatever that would be even better and then finally there's one more sheet from print to my homework which is all about stop questions you will have it looks on like this Okay, so you've got two of these sheets. This is the stock questions and this is the new knowledge questions. So you've got two sheets, hopefully, um, printed off or ready to be used. If you haven't and said you can't print them off, just work on a piece of paper and pen and we can use the computer afterwards. So, I'm going to pause here. You can pause it. If you need to grab your stuff, off you go. Okay, so. Um, first of all, we're going to start with some retrieval practice. So I'm going to give you a slide of questions, and it's particles. We've been doing this before Easter. So you can now pause the video, and you can give it a go. What do you remember? Okay, so hopefully you had a go at this. Let's go for the answers. A is like that, a good, good diagram. The arrangement is rows and fixed pattern. The attraction is strong between particles, really strong. The movement, they vibrate on the spot in fixed positions. In a liquid, it looks like this. You've got your particles are still touching, they're still touching, but they're now random. So the arrangement is random, but most are touching. The attraction is very weak, and the movement of particles are able to move past each other. And finally, with a gas, the particles look like this. So none are touching, they're far apart, they're randomly organized. The attraction is really weak, so the really, really weak attraction between the particles, and finally their movement, they're able to move in all directions. They're free to move wherever they want. Now at this point, okay, if you've got any, any gaps missing there, just take a moment, fill in the gaps, otherwise we're gonna move on. So your next slide is a bit of biology, a bit of cells. So pause the video, off you go, what can you remember? Okay, so let's have a look at the answer to the cells then. So hopefully you remember the nucleus contains DNA and controls the cell. Mitochondria is where respiration happens. The cell membrane controls it in and out. Cytoplasm is where chemical reactions happen. Ribosome is where the proteins are made or brain synthesis. Chloroplast is where photosynthesis happens. Cell wall keeps the cell rigid. Vacuole contains cell sap. And then finally, the three differences, 
are plants that have vacuoles, chloroplasts, and a cell wall. Again, if you need a moment to revise this, just have a take a nap. Okay, now we're going to lead on to some teacher instructions. So I'm going to go under the visualizer in a second. And I'm going to write down some answers. You're going to copy me. If you need a piece of paper, grab it now. Pause the video if you need to. Right, let's give us a go. This could be a let's get this onto the right thing. Bear with me. So let's say it's all new to me. So it's just stop the share. Hello, big picture, I know, sorry. And now we're on to the document camera. So hopefully, there we go. We are now in onto our new knowledge sheet. It's camera focused. And I'm just gonna work through some key questions with you. We need to learn these and make sure we understand them. Okay, so first of all, what do I mean by speed? Now, hopefully you've heard the word speed ups before, but if we're gonna write this down, it is, so let's get it written down, it's a measure of how far an object moves in a given time. Oh, let's drop back there for you. So, what I mean by speed is a measure of how far an object moves in a given time. So, get that copy down for me. So, unit for speed. Now, we measure sp speed in lots of things, in like miles per hour, kilometers per hour. Um, but in science, when we're looking into this, in this topic, we're going to use meters per second. Okay, now we can write that, and we're going to do is we can write it as m slash s. So every meter per second, that's what we're going to be looking at. So you also need to know the typical speeds for walking, running, and cycling. Now these are typical average speeds that we just need to know for science. So for example, walking, okay, we move at 1.5 meters per second on average when we're walking, okay? So when we're walking, every second, we get 1.5 meters on average. Now, when you're running, you actually go at three meters per second on average. Now, some people are faster like me. I'm very quick. Some people are very slow. But the idea is the average is three meters per second. And then finally, you need some cycling. The cycling is a bit faster. Again, it's six meters per second. So every second when you're cycling, you're going six meters, which is a long distance. And that means you're going very fast. And again, it's not something you need to know. The final bit of new knowledge um, today is the equation for spinning. You might know it's from mass, but it is this. Speed is equal to the distance divided by the time taken. Now, as we said, we know that meet speed, we use a unit meters per second. And we always use distance, we always use, use meters. And time is in seconds. So that is an equation you need to know. Now, I, you can also write it, if, if you wanted to, in symbols, which is, again, this could be a confusing, but speed we always write as V. Distance, we actually use S. And time, fortunately, we use T. So there is a symbol equation for you as well. So speed equals distance divided by time. That is the symbol equation if you want to use it, if you prefer. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'll let you, if you've got a moment, pause the video. And I want you to, with a whiteboard and pen and paper, those four questions, I want you to embed them. So grab a whiteboard, cover them, test yourself, learn them, get someone to ask you. And then we'll, we'll, in a second, we'll move on to practice using the equation. Off you go. Right, so hopefully you have now embedded those embedded that knowledge and we're gonna have a go at some questions. And now this is the main part of the lesson. So we've now learned the equation. We've learned what speed is. And now we can do some work examples where actually we've used an equation and we're doing a bit of maths. 
So I'm going to do three with you now. I'm going to show you how I set them up, how I like to see you set them up. And then when I finish talking, okay, what I would love to see is for you to go away, have a go at the slot questions. Okay, I'll come on to that in a minute. So first of all, let's practice doing some together. So first question is this, Ollie walks 200 meters in 40 seconds. What is his speed? Now there's always four parts to this. I'm going to show you my methods. So number one, I call it, or I've heard it being called bug. And that is where you bug the question. So anything that's interesting. So I can see we've got 200 meters in 40 seconds and a speed is what we're finding out. So I've now bugged the question. Step two, okay. We're now gonna look at, right, so what is the equation we need? Now we know the equation, the equation we need is speed resistance over time. So again, we're gonna write that here. So I'm gonna actually gonna write it in letters again. So speed equals distance divided by time. So that is my equation I need. Step three, we're now gonna substitute in the values. So I'm gonna substitute the values in. So I know that the speed, I know, I don't know speed, but I know distance is 200. So S is 200 and the time it takes is 40. I've bugged the question and I've now can see that speed is 200 divided by 40. So into a calculator, I'm gonna do 200 divided by 40, and that will give me an answer of five. And because we're working out speeds, it's meters per second. Okay, and that is how you do your first one. So number two, sorry about my dog there, he's just, he's about. Uh, is again number one very similar but a little bit different so this time is Alex runs to the shop to buy a new game and travels at 50 meters per second for 20 seconds how far does he go so again like it before step one let's bug it so I'm going to bug it this time though okay we can see it's a little bit different come on to that in a second step two write the equation now we know the equation you've been doing it a minute ago when your white balls with your family Speed equals distance divided by time. Remember, I'm using the symbols to make it easy to show you. Right, step three, substitute it in. So we can see this time we've been told the speed is 50 meters per second. So we know that V is 50. We do not know how far they've gone. So we don't know S, but we do know it took 20 seconds. So therefore, 50 equals S divided by 20. Now we can use, like you do in maths, we can rearrange, rearrange this. So make the S subject to the formula. I'm gonna time both sides by 20. And that means that 50 times 20 is equal to the distance. So therefore, into a calculator, we do 50 times 20, the distance, is 1,000, and because it's distance, it's in meters. Okay, that was a hard question, by the way. If you can do that, that's amazing. If, you, if you're unsure, don't worry too much, but we can practice these, practice these uh, in a bit. Right, last one. Now, I've included this one because it's a trick question, and you'll see why in a minute. So it says here, Matilda walks 2,000 meters in 50 minutes. So again, I've bugged the question. Step two, I'm going to write the equation. The equations we know, I've done it over and over again. Speed equals distance over time. Now we've been given this time the distance. So we know that S is two, again, substitute your values. We know S is 2000. But this time, your alarm bell should be going. And the reason being is because they've used minutes. Now we never use minutes in science. They are horrendous. And I hate them and we need to convert it first. Now hopefully you remember that in one minute there's 60 seconds. So therefore if we do 50 minutes times 60 that will tell you how many seconds are in 50 minutes. So the answer is 3,000. So now we've got 2,000 and we know it's 3,000 seconds. So 2,000 divided by 3,000 will give you the speed, sorry. 
and the answer therefore is 0 0.66 and the unit for speed as we mentioned before is meters per second okay so there's three worked examples for you so let me just show you back to the powerpoint so you can so back to the powerpoint which is here we've now done okay some of a lot of this okay and you've now been taught everything you need to now you have got the rest of this lesson to practice these and you'll need this sheet which is slot question i'll put into the camera so it's slot one and the first question is about imaging you need to work your way through these eight questions and they get harder to go down but you should be able to give them a really good go as i said next lesson what we'll do is i'll go through the answer with you and then we'll see how you got on so before i go the next lesson will be a distance sign graph so we're going to take up a level okay and before i go just to let you know what's going to happen is we're going to still do weekly recall tests now obviously we can't be there with you but we're going to set them on show my homework so you can do some recall tests on show my homework um, again that'd be great for us to see how you're getting on it will be on this topic i want you to complete a slot the questions i've shown you and finally share the video make sure everyone in your is doing it giving it a go and we'll, and then again next time we'll see how we'll move it on okay so i look forward to seeing you next time have a lovely rest of your day rest of, and i'll see you next time have a good day